Hello again, this is UML Operator. All right, in this session, we're gonna talk about enabling security on a SQL or cloud database installation or deployment. You can see that role-based security is not available in the professional edition of Sparks. It's only corporate on up. Once you've acquired your Sparks edition license and have gone through installation, when you, you get a login and password to Sparks for that download and access, and they provide you a lot more instruction and features for your installation. This not only includes installation and registration, but the ability to do role-based security. Now, I'm not going to open this up because it has a global key that you will use in order to enable security. Setting, and also provides you direction on setting up a database repository or repositories in your, on your server, in your local instance, or in cloud. So we're going to load the project where we want to enable security on for our SQL instance. All right, so from start, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to the security panel or group. I'm going to hit the down arrow for administer. You can see everything's disabled except for enable security. I'm going to select this. A dialog box will pop up where I will put the key. And then you can automatically apply exclusive edit locks to diagrams. I am going to check this. You can always select help along the way. So, you, you know, you can do it without selecting this. And I think you can come back later and I'll test that, but we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Security bin is enabled for the current model. You can now log in as admin with password, literally it's password and create administrative users. All right. So you can change the password once you've logged in. All right. So now we're going to log into this instance. So we've closed the project and we're going to open it back up. It's the project simply called enable security for this demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and select it. So you put in admin as it told you, and you literally use pass word, make sure caps is not on. And then we're going to, I select remember user. So it remembers the last user ID that I used and I test various user IDs. And I will talk about that in a later session. So we're going to hit login and now we have access to our project. Let's test it. We're going to create, we're going to create a, a main package with a diagram. I'm just going to accept class and we're going to open it. So we're able to access this particular project because we have this enabled. It's checked, show users and avatars. We'll talk about this later. Groups, you can manage your own account, manage locks. We'll talk about this in a later session. You can look at the user. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to administrator, log in as admin, and you're going to change the password to something a lot more complex. And you can even replace your administrative login with something more meaningful to your model administrators as a group or, and or unique user names. As you're creating new users, once you get started, you'll add their login ID. Uh, first name, other, you know, department, other things. But the most important thing is you can do here is you can set what they're allowed to do. And again, we'll talk about all of this permissions and restrictions and things like that in later sessions for model administrators, including yourself, if you have that role and privileges. Now, because we're on Spark 16, which is based off of SQLite, you can actually enable security on your local instance, all right? Again, be careful if you're doing this because if you've got an important instance and you enable security and you can't remember the access credentials, you pretty much lock yourself out, all right? So be very careful. I would play around first if you're just starting, create a instance you don't mind being locked out of and go from there, all right? so. That's the powerful thing about Sparks version 16, which is no longer built on Microsoft's Jet Engine. It's built on SQLite. 
So this applies to your local SQLite instances as well as your SQL and Cloud SQL instances. Since you've enabled security, now you have access to collaboration because now more than two people can access this Sparks instance. So you get access to journal. I posted this just a moment ago. You get access to discuss. I posted this just a moment ago and much more. Again, this is an advanced subject. It'll be included in my video playlist relevant to secure access and working with Sparks in SQL instances, whether it's local SQLite, where you're sharing your SQLite database, or it is SQL Server, or it is Cloud. I hope this video has helped you. Please follow so you can keep up um, as we progress and learn together. Thank you.